Ew, could you imagine watching my Danganronpa series and not leaving 30k likes? Dang, I'm really glad I'm not part of that gang. Because I'm one of the cool people. I heard the people that don't smash 30k likes are most likely to go to jail. Dang, I would really hate to be part of that gang. The ones that don't like 30k likes to keep the series going. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. You smashed the 30k likes. We're back with another Danganronpa. Alright, I'm recording this right now. I'm here in, in the moment. And I'm releasing this episode today. I will get it out as soon as I can, my scrubs. I'm delivering my promise to you. Last episode, he... <laughs> I, I obviously loaded the wrong save. He died last episode. I don't know why I'm here. I gotta fix that. So if you missed that, be sure to check it out here. Let's continue the actual uh, thing we're supposed to be continuing. That's more like it. There we go. Ah! It looks like something really bad has happened. Well, well I mean... I mean... <laughs> You think, Celeste? Saying the obvious. I mean, you got hit by a hammer last episode anyway, right? I certainly was not expecting this. I, I gotta say right now, if, if I don't talk right this episode more more so than usual, or if I don't talk as loud or something, it's because I bit my tongue really hard. I was bleeding. So I might not be able to read as good. I did not imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. Oh my god. Pour, pour one out. Pour some peanut butter bites out for the weebs. Out here. We lost one of them today. Seriously, it's so sad. Murdered. You're not serious, are you? He's really- He's dead! Probably. I mean, most likely. Ding dong bing bong! Oh, ding dong bing bong! <laughs> oh, it's never good. A body has been discovered! Thank you so much, Captain Obvious! After God, everyone! Amount of time, which you may use however you like. The class, class trial, trial will begin. Okay, we know. I mean, it's all the same process. Uh, things do get mixed up, though, which is what I like about this game. It's like, it gives you that routine, and then it twists things on you. That was the body discovery announcement. Yes! He's literally laying right there. Like, I'm so what to say, guys. When three or more people discover a, a body after a murder, that's what plays. Hmm. It must mean Hifumi. Someone killed him. I guess they're in disbelief. One of us? Yes. <laughs> like, without a doubt, I am already jumping. It's freaking, uh, 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 Taka. I don't know his name now. I think he changed his name last episode. It just makes most sense, but, you know, it could be a setup after all. We do know this time for sure it's not uh, Byakuya because he was there with us. So we know who it's not. But we know that it's either, it's either Taka... Well, it's not them. Either dead. Uh, or Yasuhiro. It really is. I mean, technically, we can't really rule out Kyoko, but, like, the, the chances of that happening are probably very slim. Hifumi is not an easy person to, like, really kidnap. I wouldn't I wouldn't guess, so it would have to be a guy that has muscles. It wasn't Sakura. <laughs> and we all know Taka did not like Hifumi very much. All right, the hammer, the culprit. Obviously, the thing that killed him. Another hammer, Justice Hammer 3. So, they, for some reason, they have more hammers that are bigger than the others. So, this is the biggest one. Just as I suspected, one strike from that and you are finished. And then the killer. Yeah, you'd have to be pretty tall to get your arms in there. So, who's actually that tall? Oh, yeah, that's right. Robo Justice is his name. Whoever's hiding that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But wait, there's more! <laughs> For 1999! I don't know. You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall. So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying they, like, teleported or something, right? Okay we can figure that part out later. Right now, we have to tell the others. So obviously, there's two people conspiring against, uh, uh, Hifumi, right? That's what I think. One of them didn't have to be in a costume. Although, she did confirm that the one that attacked her was in a costume. So... But no, they have to- no, that's not true. Unless there's two costumes, they would have had to have been in a costume because all of them would have- You know, Hifumi would have said who it was. Oh, Hina. Oh no, don't you break on me. Don't you break on me. Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. Sorry, I'm not sure if I can move right now. I'm feeling kind of- mm. This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. Stop leaving- I, I just don't- People in horror movies are so dumb. And this is like, why? Because they always say, Oh, well, let's all split up. Make sure that one of us is defenseless. You stay here with Hina. Very well, I'll leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. Tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still had to stop trembling from what I've just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. So he went way in the back of the hallway. 
I'll catch you and I'll drop kick you in the face. Back of the hallway? Do you like go all the way back here? Oh no, you better not destroy our <laughs> air purifier. <laughs> oh, I noticed that door is open. I don't think it's always been open, was it? Uh-oh. There is oh my god, is there gonna be another one dead? I leapt through the doorway, and what I did, I found. Oh no! Really? No. <laughs> the second nightmare of the day. I always wondered if two people other than Juko and uh uh Sayaka, God, what the heck's wrong with me? I just woke up kind of. What? <laughs> well, it wouldn't matter if he did it now, because he's dead now. Holy crap. Okay, very unexpected, very shocking, indeed. Again, wasn't very attached to him, but definitely didn't expect this to be happening. Was Taka dead? Okay, well now this picture makes a lot more sense. In the beginning of this chapter, I didn't know how this was gonna happen. Wait, why Sakura? We saw Sakura, did we not? Sakura- Oh, it's Sakura. Sakura's the only- oh my god, wait, 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 wait. I swear I remember Sakura being with this. Taka's body discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to two nightmares, one right after the other. I can't remember now if Sakura was with us. I feel like she was. No, they weren't nightmares. This is the harsh reality. Okay, well the game's gonna go a lot faster than I thought it was. Already two more are gone. Okay. The true night- the true nightmare is this reality. The reality I have to face every day, but still. Look, no, she's right there. Mm. I don't know, she was in the picture, that's all I'm saying. Why is this happening? Oh no. Oh my god, another hammer! <gasps> what? Oh, no one's gonna talk about the fact that Toko was lying on the ground. Like, we're just gonna ignore that, okay. <laughs> Toko! Don't tell me Toko too! She's not bleeding, so she's probably alright. She just passed out when she saw the blood. Oh, makes sense. The blood? Oh, that's right, I mean... <laughs> I mean, just sometimes, like, I just don't like it when they say things that are super, super obvious. It's like he said, I should have just, uh, left her alone for a while. Well, we don't- I can't remember the long-haired guy's name for some reason, but we can't find him right now. So, he's definitely prime suspect, but Sakura would be the only one that would be able to, like, really fit that costume. But why is Justice Hammer 4? Oh, what do you mean? So that's supposed to attack with just hammer one, then two. Yeah, like how do they carry these hammers? And then- But this time it was four. What happened to number three? Ah! What? I know. Well, you mentioned just hammer- yeah, but so they don't know. No, they don't know yet. <laughs> oh. Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Hifumi's dead, too. What? What? Hey! Hifumi's been killed? Well, Sakura, I mean, I'm really suspecting you for some reason. I just really don't remember. It might be unjustified because I don't remember if she was in the last episode when we did this. Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we better go check it out. Yeah. Of course, come on. So Sakura, Byaka, and I rushed to the physics lab. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab. Oh. Ah! Celeste, aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Okay. Something has come up. Hmm. Yeah, I heard Hifumi's dead, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not- Oh. What's gone? It has disappeared. Disappeared. Okay. Hifumi's bot- What? Bro okay, so maybe it's not Sakura after all. Hifumi's body just disappeared. Is this trial- Maybe this trial is going to be different from all the other ones. Maybe the uh, Monokuma already took him or something. What are you, you talking say? about? It disappeared. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck's happening hey. here? Everyone, back to the nurse's office. I mean, she seems so innocent though. But we thought the same thing about Mondo, you know? Oh my God, it's really gone. Maybe he's not dead. I couldn't believe my eyes. That would be the only way you're walking him out of here. <laughs> like, come on. Oh, unless they brought the hand truck or like the the thing. Or was it in the room we were just in? So many questions. Me and Celeste went to the bathroom, but we were the only gone for like a minute. And then we, when we got mm -hmm. back, this must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. They must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around frightened and confused. Okay. We're all gonna die here. Okay, all right, can we, we gotta stay calm, Celeste. What? What I don't believe say? this. I don't believe the body would just disappear. Why? First there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken? This is unnatural. Huh? Hold on, what do you mean two murder? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, you don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It can't be! It can't be. It can't be! No! No! What's this shit kind of say? <laughs> Hina, calm down! Get all the ears up! We're all gonna die! All of us are gonna kill all of us! You know, at this point, I, I guess I could see how this would be justified, you know? <laughs> We're thinking that. 
Then who might the next target be, Toko? What? I completely forget. She's still unconscious. Oh, crap. We're so dumb. <laughs> Why? Well, we'd have a choice. She passed out and she refused to wake up. Huh? So she's still unconscious. Come on, Sakura could have carried yeah. her. So you knew she was still up there and then nothing. Why? <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me whenever I go, wherever I go, we'd be better off without her. Master. Oh, you're gonna be next. <laughs> Calm down, you forgot about her, didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone stop fighting! Now, we need to get back. All right, come on, she's still there, she's still there. Okay. Woo. Togo? Thank God you're okay. But right away, I noticed there was something very different here. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even notice that he was gone! Okay, look, wheels. They did. They went, So what they did is went into the um, art room and they got the hand truck that I said it. I called it! I called it so bad, so hard, whatever, that they would use that to transport bodies. But... That, that does confirm that it wasn't Sakura, even though I really believe Sakura would be the only one. Maybe she was an accomplice. That's all I'm saying. But I, I think I'm right about there being two murders. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all of this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. Okay, it's not. It's not at all. I can confirm. So Bianca is questioning, who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Um, hmm. when Hifumi's death party went up, everyone here was together on the third floor. So. After that, we split up into two groups. Hmm. And now this time, you all came here as a group in the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones that could have done this was Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with us. Hmm, you seem very adamant about defending her. Perhaps you were in love? No! Never! Not her, at least. <laughs> No, that's not it at all. Well, anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. I don't, I'm not sure if I do. I mean, she would be the prime suspect in, like, lying about what happened to the computer. And I really do believe that, that it's a possibility that she's the rat as well. And and I, it had to have been a guy that would be able to actually, like, like murder these people with the hammers, I think. Or Kyoko might be very strong, so I don't know. <laughs> Which further means there will be no murders. The regulations are very clear about that. Oh, yeah, they, they can't kill more than two. So, yeah, there's no one that's else who's right. going to die. Hi! <laughs> I'd mince you, mince you without a second thought. Mince you, grind you, turn you into paste. By the way, did you know that fish paste can also refer to shellfish like shrimp or crab? Crabs? <laughs> Indeed. That was very, very random. So, since the two people have been killed, there's no possibility of any more. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Bianca? Which means you knew Toka was never in danger. I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words. <laughs> anyway, with that in mind, we... Okay, now we're gonna... We're gonna search for the bodies, okay. Alright, so Hina's, like, still scared. Even though, like, the, the rule... That she's still scared of being killed. No need to thank me, Sakura. You keep your hands off her, okay? I won't do anything to you because I can't. But you better don't. Alright, we gotta find the bodies. First of all, obviously, we have to go to the art room. That is like the prime place that that's definitely we're gonna see the hand truck thing is missing. Oh, it's locked Okay, that's different for sure Who's got keys to this place man? Okay, well assuming um, Can can the bodies be put in the incinerator if it's anything like Yandere simulator? I'm gonna say yes, and uh, I believe Hifumi was on uh, garbage duty, right? Basically, because I don't know how time works in this game. I don't know like how I forgot how long people they don't really say who's on garbage duty So you just have to really guess But I'm gonna guess That Hifumi. I also question how they got down these stairs with wheels, but I don't know. Maybe they did. Oh, no They actually want me to look around this floor. Okay. Oh Hi, come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the re repository. What you mean? Indeed. I found them Hifumi Saka body, but the re repository? What the heck is that? Goodbye. I already told Hina Sakura we'll go on ahead. Their bodies were in the repository. I really don't remember what that is. I, it's unlocked now? What? I was just there. Oh my god, someone's working with them. Dang, is this all a big cons conspiracy theory? Oh yeah, well, I mean, you kind of knew they were in there, right? The two bodies that had disappeared were right here. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. Ding dong, ding dong! 
a body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Dang. <laughs> so that the bodies, because the bodies were tampered with, this is going to be a different class trial, which is going to be interesting. And so here we are. All right, yeah, he's gonna give us the file and tells us the details. I was going to find them. I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies uh, the first time, but I thought something might happen. It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right. Stop talking. Just hand it over already. Now make sure to investigate with all your mental might. All right. I feel like this is gonna be easy in uh, investigation. I think we found all the stuff already. Hold on. How could you be so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know. That's terrible. Yeah. Come on, Hina. I, you know, you know, I love you, but. The fact that you're not surprised, the fact that you're surprised by Biakria being actual a demon is very su surprising to me. This is just too awful. Hey, no, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> it's okay. You might have one murder you, Biakria. <laughs> this is your fault. Somehow, <laughs> she clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Oh, oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, he would have loved this. He would have loved this so much. I mean, yeah, she's well, she's technically 2D, so he actually would have loved this. Why? Large wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks. If this were some world of make believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes, but this wasn't a movie. Oh, no. Oh my god, will he open his eyes? Oh my god! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god! This wasn't! This man walked himself up here! He's alive?! It was the tears of the waifus that did it <laughs> The tears of the waifus cure all! Yes! He's alive again? Where... am I? What'd I tell you? This freaking game is shocking! Cold. So many twists! So cold... is... Winter coming. Hifumi! Someone grab his anime right now. Grab his mangas. Go just rub his mangas on him. Hifumi! Wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's peak. Oh my god, is he Come gonna have on, amnesia? You gotta wake up! I remember everything before I met you all. What? What? I met you all. I knew it! What? <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> so we met before. I think we were all friends or something. I did I did say that I think it's a possibility that maybe everyone had met before and now we all just have amnesia. <laughs> His memories are all blended together. He has nothing useful. Out Shut up, Bianca! Shut up! The light. No, don't walk it's to the light. No! Out to me. You fool me! Like the tail of a comet. Hey, Fumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. Say I it. remember their name. Yasu? 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 Hero. Hero. Well, I mean, that could have been the only other possibility. Oh no, his eyes closed and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolutely undeniable death. Well, he's never dead, but now he is. Dang, man. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splashed his face, there was no second miracle. Reality set in again. Dang, no, I didn't expect him to wake up. This isn't some, this isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins, no calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. That's a weird thing to say. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return just to leave us with unnecessary dying words. Unnecessary? He literally said who killed him. Sure, he may not have been in the most trusted state, but I believe him. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. <laughs> He said Yasuhiro, right? Yasuhiro, yep. That's the only person he could have been referring to. So in other words... And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Hifumi, and then going as, as far... And then going as so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hiro is? The interesting part is, is he gonna show his face? Like, where is he? What 
Is he just gonna show up to the trial in a, in a costume? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way I could ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends! Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Though this time it's not about life or death, the trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. It does look like that way. It's gonna begin again? We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. Investigate. Well, I mean, there's something else that's bothering me. Someone else has been missing for quite a while, Kyoko. Yes. Without a doubt, she has an alibi for when Celeste and Fumi were attacked, but what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? Yep. Mm. An accomplice? <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't be rude. I'm here to answer your question. What question? You're talking about- Oh, yeah, so he'll tell us, right? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask for the- So you ask, each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate! That's right. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Well, I don't know. In other words... So basically, you could be an accomplice if you want, but there is no gratification in it. So then... So... Hey, um... Uh, so, so someone did work together. He's gonna say, oh, I can't answer if someone, if they work together. It would obstruct the free exchange of information. I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might assist in a murder, only one black and can graduate. So okay, in interesting. Other words... In this class trial, what you need to determine is the one true black and who devised the murder plot and put into action. Oh, dang. So that means after this trial, it's going to be super awkward between the characters because they're probably going to know who helped. And then they'll never trust them again, which obviously had to have been. Dang, I, I can't say for sure, but I think it was... Well, now. Kyoko had to help, right? Okay, so they're already basically deciding that Kyoko is not involved, but I don't know about that. You know, don't you think we should consider a certain someone a suspect just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack. Wait, I'm offended. <laughs> You, when did you? I've been looking all over for you, Master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. You anyway, you there, your milk sack swimming girl. Huh? <laughs> milk sack? Why do I gotta be a suspect? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. <laughs> so what, I'm like a special guest suspect every time? I have an alibi, you know? Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Fumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying there unconscious in the equipment room. Or so we think. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Hifami, uh, Fumi's body. Well, if she sneezed, then maybe she actually would believe she wasn't the killer. But remember, last time we saw uh, a Toko, she was Toko, not Genocide Jack. Yep. Okay, well, now they're calling her Jill. They didn't, they didn't call her that before. <laughs> Very confusing. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. <laughs> they don't call me a murderous fiend for nothing. That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Okay, I really don't know what to believe anymore. But now I now I think she's a suspect because technically we did leave her behind and then Haka's body did disappear. That is the things that we definitely know, right? Perhaps she was faking. She was definitely faking being uh, unconscious. On another topic, should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't leave them, have them disappearing again. So then. People and I can handle that, don't mind. Hmm. Okay. Sure, I'd be totally useless in the investigation anyway. It's all clear. Then. And that's it. Let's begin. The whole thing is so strange. But one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. I don't know what to believe in this one. But I have possibilities, and that's all I can really offer. This is- I mean, really, this had to have been it. It's a dolly. It doesn't have much of a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. But wait! Aha! Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? Oh, it was! Oh, okay. And look at the wheel. Oh! Called it. Called it. There's blood on it, so that's obviously was used. What's the explanation for that? Easy. Easy peasy. Taka, he'll never move again. According to the Madakuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Jess's hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? There's no way there would be any uh, blood left behind while the body was moved. Blue tarp has been added. Okay, so yeah, I... That was in here, was in the equipment room as well. And you. So Makoto's saying too, I mean, how on the earth was the killer able to move someone so big? I think it's a possibility he actually got up and walked. 
because I don't know if we saw trails going from his body. From the nurse's office where he was discovered here at the repository, all the way from the first floor to the third, and all without anyone noticing. How the heck? It's no good, I just don't get it. I can think about it later for now, I have to finish investigating Fumi. Wait, something's off about his body. Am I- Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Fumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. I don't know. His oh, his glasses! When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses was covered in blood. And now, which is, okay, so which adds to my theory that he got up and if you were alive, you would clean off your glasses. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who would do that and why? Interesting indeed. The plot thickens. Oh yeah, so yeah, the lock on the door. There's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from the inside, the repository. Weird. So that means Hifumi locked the door, most likely. I don't see any way to lock it from the art room. And why was it unlocked? Okay. <laughs> I know, I could talk all day about what might have happened, but maybe Hifumi was unconscious when he got in here. He woke up and unlocked it, and that's why he was alive. Oh, the hammers. There's more hammers in here. Could the Justice hammers been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers here obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait, for some reason this one hammer isn't dirty at all and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Another hammer was used. Oh my god. I don't know what I really don't know. Hifumi was into art, right? Is it possible that he could be faking it? Is he still sweating? <laughs> I don't think you can sweat when you die. He's sweating because he's, he's scared of being caught. Did we check the pulse? Huh? Did we check their pulses? Because they didn't say they did. So Monokuma confirmed that he died, right? Or was it him after all? Could it have been? Could the body confirmation? Could that have been for Taka and not Hifumi? I know I'm thinking too much into this, but I'm just saying. Now I'm also really, really suspecting Celeste. Because we do know Celeste had the power to make Hifumi do whatever she wanted. I think, and here's what I think, I think that that picture that th was taken on there, because Hifumi, or Celeste was always the one saying, Oh, there's the killer! The killer's going that way! Okay, I saw him! No one else saw it! So I think that this... Costume... The robo thing... I think it's possible that that doesn't even, or that wasn't even used! I think that that picture could have been taken by Celeste and it was a setup. It could have been taken any time and then that's when she just played it out and pretended that she was messed with inside the thing because she is acting weird. That's what I think. I don't know about him though because I remember hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. And that's when I showed up and yeah, so I think, I think one of them might be faking it. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Leaving Toko behind, which we fainted, but as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who had just arrived to tell us something very unusual. Hifumi's body has disappeared. Oh my god, it's, it might be her. She's a suspect now. I don't know. I, this is too much to take in. We need to, we need to just get this done. Oh my god, I know the answer. I'm not going to tell you guys. <laughs> I know the answer so bad. I know exactly what happened. I'm so- I- I know what happened. I don't want to ruin it for anyone else, but I have a strong suspicion that I'm gonna keep to myself. Hmm. Woo, I know- I know exactly what happened, it's not even funny. <laughs> no, I'm not cheating, I swear, I just know. I just know with all my heart what happened now. And when they say it, that's how confident I am in this one. And when they say it, I'm gonna- I'm gonna rub it in all your faces. And I'm gonna say exactly what's on my mind right now. That's how confident I am. And if I'm wrong, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it's so obvious. I know it. <laughs> Dude, just let's just conclude this investigation already. I'm I'm just too good of a detective. It's just all it is. See, that's when the hand truck was. Uh, that's when the hand truck was used. But that I don't think that was uh, the case with Hifumi. Are you guys starting to understand now? I hope you are. You guys, I need you guys to catch up. All right, catch up here. I was sleeping here when the killer carried away the body away. I'm super PO'd. I missed such an ultimate rare event. Yeah, did you? Did you? Oh, I don't know, guys. Did you? My god, imagine not knowing what happened in the actual murders. Like, ugh. I 
couldn't imagine being stupid. <laughs> Anyone that doesn't know what happened clearly is a person that didn't smash like. Everyone that smashed like probably knows because you're smart. Now, those are the big brain thinkers, the likers. What are you investigating, Celeste? I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I'm simply going around seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Wouldn't you be scared? I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. How Hifumi was moved, eh? When they disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you found the body, then mm. the body was gone. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina and I said, uh, said the same thing. So when the killer was going to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time, mm -hmm. it would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi. Hmm. I spoke poo -poo. Wait, oh, there's something inside the trash can. A napkin! Is that what that is? A handkerchief? Oh, okay. That's what they use to clean the glasses. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. And it's covered in blood. Oh. Did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to, it must have been used to wipe up some blood. And who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either, but I think it might be important. Ugh. Hmm. Oh! Oh, hi. This is random. I was just searching. So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Uh, you should go to Hero's room. Yeah, I wanted to. It would let me go over there, though. And let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? You remember, you remember well, right? Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear. Anyway, this makes it all clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things grow even more exciting. What are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt, so I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Goodbye. That is right. He did leave that, didn't he? And they did mark. They did comment about his handwriting. All right, the hero's room. The door's unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Biakia did say to go look, but it might not be a great idea. But I'm gonna take the plunge anyway. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where did he even get it all from? And more importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? I, I guess. There's nothing in there. It's pretty grungy, though. <laughs> I knew he was dirty. There's something in the cardboard box. Oh, blueprints! Something's made out of... Oh, it looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster. Is this Robo-Justice? And it's in Hero's room. But wait. There's more. <laughs> These blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Have the arms been like this? Hmm. The handwriting is not nearly as good as it was before. And if it was... I already know. I think I know. I think I know. Is that it? Is that all we came in here for? I mean, that is a very good clue, right? Oh, hey, big news. What's wrong? We found Kyoko. What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Just a Robo Justice showed up too? Really? It's Hero wearing the costume. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you get, you can, head to the pool on the second floor. <sighs> so much. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. I checked it here too, man. Oh, oh my god, he's right there. <laughs> Kyoko and... I mean... <laughs> Man, I have had the worst day. I've had to kill so many people. <laughs> Hero! I'm um, Hero? Yeah, oh, who else would it be? I like, he's like, what? Wait, you never seen a man in a costume? Huh? What, why do I look like this? Did someone come along here and remodel me while I was sleeping? Was it uh, the Illuminati? What? Okay, that's all he has to say. Right. I found a hero. He was jammed into a pool locker room. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean. I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something? What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never, you gotta say what you, you can't just never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Okay. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? 
First of all, Hero, you need to explain uh, why you're dressed like that. I mean... Well, I mean, I have no idea. On second thought, I was asleep. I didn't even know that happened when I woke up and here I was. Hmm. I don't care. Do something... I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. He huh? hates anime. Well, um, I don't know what's up with this big thing, but I can't actually get it off. <laughs> Why would you make something like that? You can't take it off by yourself. Got it all wrong. I didn't make this stupid freaking thing. There's a clasp on the back that's been keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. I don't really think I have a choice. Let's help him out. Okay. So we got it off. <laughs> Free at last. Mm. It's kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero. So More then. to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to wear the costume. Uh, um, Wait. Hold on a second. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Okay. In other words... Wait, how did you know that? How did you know that? How did she know that? That's true, I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? Then it's obvious, someone who put the costume on and went attacking everyone was Hero. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Good idea. Wouldn't want him killing anyone else. Whoa, oh, tie me up! Hold on, guys, I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves a fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, attacking um, blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? Interesting. Uh, all right, interesting, interesting. All I'm gonna say. Who else could possibly be the costume attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit, Hina started putting on the robo uh, costume. <laughs> huh. See, look. <laughs> look, see how loose it is? It? Oh, she read it. Okay, I didn't expect that. That's funny. I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. I don't know, Celeste, Celeste might be just as tall as him, but I don't know. Well, now you're all adding uh, excuses. Um, no, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces of the floor and tried putting them on. It's no use. The arms are too long. There's no way I could wear this. Just a second. Okay. <laughs> you're absolutely right. It seems like this costume is made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... There must be one that looks the same but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there's not there's another suit, right? Who cares? Hero's the only one that without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible. Which is why we know it's him. What? He doesn't believe it. <laughs> Can someone tell me? Alright. Is that it? Okay, 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 come on. Anything else? She looks like she's lost in thought. Mm. How much more evidence could there be? Okay, so we're telling him who was killed. What? He shocked. Just the worst. Wait. Huh? Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed, that? that's it. I know who did it. So then. You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? I'm at least 30 Which means Alter right. Ego and Chihiro must have done it. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't believe me. I mean, that's a dumb thing to say. Uh, um, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh. And I know that note. Uh, um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And there's... And here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. What? Monokuma can't find it, so don't tell anyone else. Let's see it in the rec room at 1 a.m. Uh. The last thing I remember is going to the rec room. And for some reason, I fell asleep. Oh, it's... Yeah! <laughs> So he got drugged. The nurse's oh, Kyoko's agreeing. So the nurse's office did have some chemicals in it. I told you someone tried to set me up, man. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote to, that to trick me. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, after that, but after being trapped here for so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check it, right? Yeah. They prayed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. Don't be me. But you should buy it. Let's show us that note. Mm. With pleasure. No way. Oh, he lost it. Oh, convenient. Huh? Please. Uh, I think I believe him. I think I do. I believe that he's innocent. <laughs> Alright, so everyone left except for Kyoko. Makoto, do you have a second? I want you to help me with the investigation. It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need, I need to make up on some grounds. 
Sure, I don't mind helping, but you can, prom can you promise me something? Later when we have time, you will tell me why you disappeared. Why is that? No. She rejected me so simply. Anyway. Okay, so Shall I guess we're gonna go? help her. All right, so first I'd like to examine the corpses. Okay. All right, so she's just investigating. I would like to note though, and I didn't mean to skip it. I know. I know, I do skip things, but I do for a reason. It's important to note that when she's seen the bodies, she actually had a reaction that we've never seen. We never see any emotions from her at all. So that's important to note. Makoto, I found something. You hey. did? You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? He did. <sighs> Are you still oblivious to people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? No, it's not it. Anyway, uh, so you said he had a watch. So Take a look. It's broken. Okay. It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. Oh, so we know the time now. And if you notice, the hands are frozen just past 6 o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after 6. That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Oh my god, he did mention time. Like, <laughs> I would have never guessed. In other words... So if it works at 10 last night, it could have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. Interesting. Huh. That's very interesting. Oh, take a look at his left hand. Oh, he's got the note, doesn't he? Makoto. Because... I gotta pry- oh, I gotta pry it out. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. His ice-cold hand was nearly enough to cause my frozen heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was definitely able to free the object from his tightly clenched fists. Piece of paper? That's all he had in his hand? Yep, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Right? I wonder about that. Goku then turned to Hifumi's body. So then. Okay, let's check him now. First of all, is he really dead? That's what I want to know. The biggest problem I have right now is how he was able to get up here. He died from a blow to the head. When we found his body, yeah, we all know, we all know. Oh, a lot of paper! Hifumi had it hidden on him. Indeed. He stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he hid it on purpose, you see? In his pants, so you- Why is that? It was just his pants, like his socks or something. I didn't know what that means. Hey. <laughs> Alright, what's the paper say? I found a hole, maybe we could use to escape. Malakuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for- Oh. Mm. Notice the handwriting is not nice. That sounds very familiar. That's it, the same thing Hiro said. Then he was telling the truth. However, Although it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um. Last night someone slipped a weird note under my door and it said, I found a hole, maybe we could use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1. The time is different. Hiro told us his note said 1 a.m. But 6 a.m. is when he died. So... Is that right? Just because Ibumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. There's some meaning to the part of it being ripped. Could you maybe explain it a little more? Think carefully. Okay. Why would he have been clutching the paper? Because he died with it in his hand. So then. And how could something so important like that become mere, a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. Alright, so nothing... Yeah, that's fine. So they're saying the, hand, the handbooks could play a role. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I better keep it in mind. That's it. That's it, guys. Woo! Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! Alright! We're gonna end it there, because th this would be way too long if I did it. <laughs> you know what to do, smash 30k likes, and uh, we'll continue this game. Thank you guys for all the amazing support so far. I think I know exactly what happened, but I'll leave it to you guys in the comments to do it. Beware of spoilers, though, because, you know, people like to spoil things. Don't spoil things. Anyway, guys, I'll see you scrubs in the next episode of Danganronpa. Bye, guys.